The potential impact of Open RAN on the mobile networking sector was one of the major topics of discussion at this year's Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And to find out why, I'm talking today with Vinesh Nal, Head of Pre-Sales at NEC's 5G Open RAN Center of Excellence. So Vinesh, great to talk with you today. Thanks very much for joining us. So um, why is Open RAN such a big talking point for the mobile networking sector? Sure. Uh, the initial view from carriers and the industry has been focused more on TCO reduction. But over the past uh, few years, I mean, we've, we've seen that there's a change in trend. Operators and CSP now focus on the innovation side of, of Open RAN. Now, this is also coupled with the fact that RIC uh, is taking main stage now, giving operators a direct control over how they can implement optimizations to the network. Uh, there's also a merge in the strategy. So if you're looking at telcos, uh, IT strategy getting mirrored uh, and married together with uh, telecom strategies. And, and more importantly, also virtualization, right? So uh, bringing in this ability to virtualize and deploy quite flexibly in, in, in even with different architectures and different segments of uh, brand deployment. So it's evolved, in my view, from beyond uh, TCO reduction into, into more innovation side of things. Okay, yeah, interesting. And yeah, I can say that that's definitely happened. Things have moved on in the past couple of years. Um, uh, right now in 2023, how are mobile operators thinking about uh, Open RAN? Because there still appears to be a broad range of views about potential timelines and, and even use cases. No, that's a good question. So uh, that, that's pretty much the same trend that we also saw at MWC. We uh, we see that there is a shift in operators' strategy of introducing open RAN, specifically on the macro networks. Uh, we see that this has moved from the 2023 vision to more 2024 and 25. Um, while that's the case for macro, we do see a, a lot of openings and new segments popping up. Again, ranges all the way from in-building to, uh, to private networks, to MPN um, use cases and so on. So, uh, so we see that there is a market uh, appetite to introduce open RAN, but the good thing is the uh, the technology and and the processes behind it remain the same across segments. So I think that's uh, that's an interesting view. Okay, and so how is NEC's five G Open RAN Center of Excellence helping operators with their open RAN plans? Sure. So NEC five G Center of Excellence is made up of you know, veterans who, who've done uh, deployments for uh, for operators. You know, we, we've been SI in some cases for uh, for legacy technologies and also small cells. So there's a strong know-how in terms of the operator introduction and new product introduction strategies, their IT strategy, the security strategy, uh, OSS integrations, etc. So So NEC COE brings in a wealth of knowledge of, of the processes required by carriers to introduce uh, a new solution. So, so from that point of view, we're, we're, we're well equipped to, uh, to help carriers globally um, to, to introduce Open RAN into their networks. Okay, Vinesh, well, that that's, does sound like a, a wealth of experience. And obviously that's really important when it comes to operators deciding to bring a new architecture and potentially new technologies into their network. So uh, great chatting with you today. And thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.